Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 8th of June comes to you from London. And uh, we start by looking at the energy mix. We're just seeing a, a lot of uh, crude oil still up. We had a very strong week and a lot of products last week, but uh, quite a mixed picture this morning. Um, and we'll cover a look at that in a moment. We put the uh, report out to clients this morning. So um, We've uh, pretty much uh, still bullish on uh, crude oil, uh, a bit of a mixed picture on other products, and German power turning a corner, <coughs> which we'll look at in a minute at all the charts out in that report, which has gone out to clients uh, first thing this morning. Uh, so taking a look at um, the uh, macro picture, first of all, uh, the dollar continues to bit look a little bit weak. Uh, here we're seeing against uh, the euro just a really big fall off the last few weeks. We had two bad weeks in a row for the dollar, and that's just pushed the dollar uh, still in that bearish trend. And of course, that means that euro dollar is looking bullish against the dollar. Remembering this is my long term, my medium term and my short term chart. If you've done the training course, you'll very much understand these uh, charts uh, here. So we've got the long term, medium term and short term picture. Uh, the dollar is still, uh, euro is still looking bearish long term against the dollar with those big downside targets, but quite a big move there that we've seen in recent weeks. Uh, looking at the yen. Uh, dollar yen sitting at about 109 yen to the dollar, uh, so uh, dollar buying more yen. So we're seeing dollar strength here. Uh, yen is the risk on trade, of course. So it just uh, shows that um, we are looking strong there. And if we uh, for the dollar, the yen is looking weak. Uh, and looking at sterling, we're seeing here sterling actually still just holding its gains against the dollar. Looking moving into that medium term um, bullish uh, zone, not yet on the long term chart, but that's interesting that we're seeing sterling looking stronger against the dollar. And against the euro, we're seeing uh, sterling recovering a little bit. It was uh, down to 111, but uh, we're back into that 112 and a half. So very much flat against the euro which we kind of expect uh, as well and against the Swiss franc sitting at 122 so um, sterling looking stronger there too. Uh, against the Aussie dollar uh, we have seen a steady decline in sterling this is Aussie dollar strength sterling weakness um, from 208 uh, the Aussie dollar really suffering um, in the uh, crisis uh, very resource laden economy economy of course and we're seeing uh, the Aussie dollar strengthening that is a, a risk off trade if you like so we're seeing uh, the ri the risk levels um, decreasing there for uh, just generally in the macro situation Bitcoin sitting at nine thousand six hundred dollars uh, so it's str struggling there a little bit um, most of all uh, looking at markets we saw the US stock market uh, recovering very sharply on Friday on those job numbers up 2.6 percent the Nasdaq 100 index making a new all-time high so that's highly significant of course upside targets there uh, really quite key taking the coronavirus in its stride of course the broader base market is still a long way from recovery we saw the Dow up three uh, percent just not enough really to, to get us um, above that high of course we've got a long a lot of work still to do on the Dow and the S&P but it's it's all about the Nasdaq at the moment that's driving things. Uh, we look at the S&P futures this morning. We're up slightly on the uh, S&P future and down slightly on the Nasdaq E-mini. Just does imply that uh, European mark, uh, sorry, U.S. markets will open flat today. In Europe, we're seeing a bit of a mixed picture. FTSE down a third of a percent. Uh, mid caps in the U.K. up a quarter of a percent. We're looking at the uh, the DAX. We're up uh, down half a percent. Uh, down 7.79 percent but we are in that bullish zone on that medium term chart in fact with the picture looking much more positive there um, but we are down this morning cat current down um, just two-thirds of a percent as well but the trend looking really good on that short-term chart um, Japan was up one percent uh, of course, the Asian markets didn't really get the benefit of the job numbers on Friday, uh, so they, we're seeing a recovery there today. Hang Seng is up 0.03% uh, flat there, and China up a quarter percent, but still in bullish, uh, bearish territory on that sh uh, long-term chart, looking a little bit better on the medium term there. Uh, and last of all, we'll just take a quick look at gold before we look at the energy mix. Uh, gold very bullish on the long term chart but just medium term we're seeing a bit of turnover there and short term of course as we're seeing um, the risk off um, 
trade coming. We're seeing that gold is just suffering as well. Taking a look at the energy mix now, uh, we see here Brent crude is um, uh, bullish above uh, the cloud on price, not quite yet on the lagging line, but a really big run last week. And if we look at, remember to change your box sizes on the chart, we do have these upside targets here. Uh, 4350, 4370, uh, 4375. So it does look like we can run um, another dollar higher. Uh, so that's uh, so that's looking still pretty good for uh, uh, for Brent crude. Uh, longer term, we've got some very big upside targets. Of course, we've got a little bit of a seesaw here. Forty six dollars if we can break to new highs. Uh, back to forty dollars. Forty one dollars if we um, if this run ends. So uh, wait for the break. Watch those one minute charts. Uh, looking at uh, WTI, we're sitting at 39.97 at the moment. $40.90 is the target. We look set to break the $40 mark, and that will be psychologically very important level um, this this week. Uh, Brent, uh, US Nat Gas not looking as good. We've got some downside targets here coming back to this support level at around 175. Uh, we've got a downside target of 166. Longer term, does look like we're turning a corner on US Nat Gas, but just at the moment we've got some downside pressure there. Coal jumped last week. Uh, we went up uh, some $4, so a really big move there, $4.5 move, uh, but not enough to change the long-term picture there for coal. We do have some upside targets, but of course we've got these longer-term downside targets hanging over us, uh, and it is a picture of either way. Hence, we were neutral in our report on coal. Remembering that in the report we um, colour code, so uh, coal uh, is uh, is um, uh, orange for no change or, or neutral for the week. So uh, we our, our strong calls are in power, uh, German power and oil. Uh, if we look at the week ahead. Uh, so looking at um, emissions, uh, we're seeing here uh, looking pretty bullish on that very short term chart running through into medium term bullish as well. We just do have a potential downside target here about to be activated. So we're neutral on um, on emissions this week and looking at um, uh, MBP we see here uh, the move really very strong move but again not enough to change the chart some downside uh, pressure target reach that target given uh, back at the start of last week was met um, and so we're just now looking at the shorter term of course if you're using OTC targets on Trayport you'll have a, a, a better visibility uh, on on that uh, chart and if we look at uh, the um, the one minute chart we see here that on um, uh, TT we have got uh, a quite an interesting picture as well. So MBP there, then TTF, uh, we've got downside targets still hanging over us. This 550 mark is still pretty key uh, and we're holding that at the moment, but uh, six would be a good level to get above. If we can get above that six level on uh, TTF, that would be uh, m more significant. Uh, again, of course, the downside uh, uh, trend on the longer term chart is still there. Looking at winter, much the same picture, but looking a bit stronger there. German power is down this morning, but we are looking at these more of these short term upside targets and we are just breaking above on the cloud. So uh, a better picture here on German power. It does look like this uh, this target into the 40s, looking more likely now than the target to the uh, to the 29 level. So a very much a change of sentiment there. Uh, so that's really key. Watch the one minute targets this week. That's going to be key until uh, until tomorrow. Happy charting. See you then.